finally entered the house. Ah, whew, I know. Y'all have been waiting and waiting and waiting and we finally, we made it y'all. We got here. Y'all see that? This is our, our very first house tour. I thought I've already decorated a home. So, this is our house. The girls are doing it. Yeah, I can see this house. And like I said, this this video does this house. You no, know, just as before we got this house, I watched tons and tons of videos on this house, and I was like, "Well, it ain't that big." But then in it, I walked in, I was like, "Oh my God, this is huge!" So right here is the guest bath. It's pretty small, little guest bath. It's actually Austin's bathroom, but guest bath here. It's pretty basic. Still got a shower curtain for in here. But that's that. And then the next door, if you leave out of there, right here to the office. My McKill's office here. It's a nice size room here. 
So the plan was to have this desk for me. Then that be his desk, but I think this desk will be like the craft desk. If he'll surprise me, he bought um he bought me another clip that I was free, as well as a heat press. So my heat press is out there in building, I think. I'm gonna use this desk as a craft desk and put my heat press on here and just put my computer and everything on this desk here. Just like it designated the craft area. Y'all, this computer chair, I see better things. Actually need to get a new one, but I'm not worried about that right now. Um, this room has a nice size walk-in closet, which I'm using it right now for all our places. I'm going to put a couple stuff as it is. I'm going to buy these little extender things because I'm it's too short to get reaching up there. So, that's I got all these shelves here that needs to be put up, but y'all, I don't want to hang up on these walls. I don't know. I'm, I just don't want to hang anything on the walls right now. Until I know for sure this is how I'm going to leave it set up. Leaving out of the office. Leaving out the office and going to the left. I love this part about the house because it's like a little, um, I call it the girl's wing because you turn. And you got the girls' rooms and then their bathroom, which <sighs> needs to be straightened up. So, we're going to go to the right. This is my <laughs> and Libby's room. They've done got a sign on their door that says no drinks, food in our room. Um, no K-Bug or Addy in our room, just mom and dad. So, let's go look at their room. This is their room. You walk in. Got their little desk set up here. We're watching TV. Um, so we had to, we bought them this bunk bed. Had to buy mattresses for it too. But the mattresses won't be here till I think Thursday. So <laughs> they're just sleeping on some air mattresses until now. I mean, until they're. Your mattress is calm. But this is their room. Basic girls room. Um, all new bedding and everything that'll be here by the weekend. I love their covers. It's like, it's got the cute sheer curtains in the middle. Um, this is their bookshelf, which clearly I need to go through these books and take what's old out of here. Um, their closet. I gotta get them a, um, a shelf or something to put shorts and stuff in. But this is their closet. Pretty basic. Their closet, um, their closet is the only closet in this whole house that doesn't have a lot. But, Y'all like y'all's room? Yes. You like your room? Yes, ma'am. They've been swimming, so they're tired. No, I'm not tired. You're not tired? No. You look tired. No, I'm not. I'm All right. tired. All right, I'm going to close this door so I don't get back to watching TV. Yeah. And then, to the left of their room, you have is the girls' bathroom. Like I said, I got a clean off in here already. It's time for it to be cleaned. We've had people over literally every day since we try to get settled in. Just people coming over and wanting to hang out. But this is a girls' bathroom. And now, which there's a lot for this little area, which I love. Um, I think I'm going to put like a little one of those um corner shelves here. I was telling mama the other day when she was over, which she's over here every day a few times a day, I want to decorate this for Christmas. Like, do garland all around this whole entryway. 
And I thought about getting a sign made right here and putting the girl, the girl's wing right here. Cause this is what, this is what I've been calling the girls' wing. So, and this is Eddie and Katie's room. They got the same sign on their door. No, my, you're living in our room, just mom and dad. No drinks or food in our bedroom. This is their room. They're just hanging out, watching. Well, Katie's watching TV. I'm gonna turn your light on, okay? This is their bedroom. They had bone beds, but they wanted them side by side. That's what we're doing. They need a new um, shelf in their room too. I've been looking. So I do plan on getting them one of those. This is their room. They ain't hung anything up in their room either. Their window is a lot bigger in here than the other girls' room. I think their window is 10 inches bigger than the other room. And he's got her turtles in here, which, and some minnows. Cause she's not found. Where's your other turtle at? He's up there. Oh, he's still on it. the rock. Water he stains. is clean. There's water stains in my mini rooms. Um, they got a decent sized closet as well. This is their bedroom. We go show y'all. The next bedroom. <laughs> Son, what what's going on? What's your problem? He wants me to lay down, but I don't want to. Stop. You want to show him your room? Come on, let's go show. Let's show him your room. Let's show him your room. Where's your room? Show him your room. Is this your room? Go ahead. <gasps> Whoa! Look at your room, Bubba. This is Austin's room. His room is huge, like huge. It's about four, maybe three times the size of his last bedroom in our old house. We've already decorated in here. Michael is super excited. This is actually the stuff that we were shopping for today that they pulled our trailer in. If y'all remember that video. I was spinning Hobby Lobby. This is stuff that we had picked up out of there. It was all on clearance. Um, he has a nice size closet as well. <sighs> so still fell. I've got to get this mess organized this week. That is like the top priority this week. Why the kids are in school? Mikhail will be at work this week, so I plan on getting all this done. I just went and bought him a new TV. We bought this TV, hoping it will work with a VCR because we have a ton of VHS tapes, but it didn't work. Neither does the VCR. So I just went and picked him up a new TV for his room. Um, we're gonna have to take this down. I bought a mount as well. So that's going out of here. If y'all remember in our old house, I had this in the kitchen, this um shelf here. Let's get up out of here. You're helping him clean up his room? Marie? Oh, his clothes still need to be hung up, y'all. His view. He's got one of those big 45 inch windows. I think it's 45 and a half. View of the backyard as well. Hoping he doesn't miss these blinds all. His potty chair. We've been trying to potty train him, but he hasn't. He won't use it. He refuses to go. But yeah, this is his huge, huge room. I'm trying to tell y'all, this video does this house no justice. This house is huge. Like the ceilings are so high in here. I love it. I love it. Let me turn this light back off. And we're down here. We're about to go burn trash. Takes you back out into the dining room slash 
kitchen, living room area. Um, this whole bin is just house decor that I've been picking up for months. So, y'all, make sure you are subscribed so y'all are here for my fall decorate with me video. It's taking everything in me not to put up some fall decor. I was like, no, I'm gonna wait till I give them a home tour before I put up any um fall decor. This statue. <coughs> Thinking about hanging these up right here on this wall. But then again, I thought about putting a buffet there, buff a long buffet table. But then again, I thought about get, finding a hutch and putting there. But the thing is, I feel like if I do a hutch, I, I don't want to decorate both sides up because I feel like that would be too much. So I'm thinking of doing a buffet table here and then um, some... Hobby Lobby has these beautiful, huge um, candle wall scones. They're like $60 a piece. They are huge. And it's like the smoked glass color, so it would go good well as the um, the trim in this house. So I got my eyes on those. I'm just waiting for them to go back on sale. They were on sale a few weeks ago. I should have got them down, but I wasn't sure. But that's what I want to do on this wall. Of course, I'll decorate the table for each seasons, but and um yeah, I think I'm thinking about also putting a mirror in the, in between the two wall scones. I think that'd be beautiful there. Um, this table here, I picked this up. I think Friday. I think I picked it up at um a local flea market. It's homemade, and it it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful table. I just threw this um, runner on it that I had on the kitchen table. Y'all seen that? I just felt like it looked better here, and it was getting dirty on the kitchen table because of kids. So I just threw that here. Um, I do have a lamp I plan on putting up here and, you know, just decorating it, going all out for fall. And like I said, all the seasons. Um, Mama brewed me this yesterday. It is so stinking cute. And then I picked up this rug the other day from Fan Dollar General. But this is the living room. Living room is huge. As I said a while ago, section will be delivered Thursday. And I cannot wait to get that sectional in here. Yeah, that needs to go to his room. But um yeah. We also picked this up from um Hobby Lobby in that video. As well as this one here. That come from Hobby Lobby as well in that video. But, um, <laughs> we got our country cable running. So, I've, I've got to hide this cord, y'all. Don't get hidden. But, we went ahead and mounted the TV on this wall. Because the sectional is going to come and then curve around here. It's a huge, nice reception. It's got, like, recliners. Oh, and it's got the cell phone chargers built in. I cannot wait to get it here, y'all. Um, I went ahead and hung these up on this wall. Not sure what I'm gonna put in the middle, if I'm putting anything here. Um, I'm not sure. I thought about putting two chairs there and a table in the middle like I wanna do in our room, but I don't want it in the walkway like that. But I don't know, it's gonna take time. But now to the master bedroom it's still in a mess i've been focusing on other parts of the house i'll focus on this part one day this week maybe hopefully tomorrow <coughs> this is the master it is huge mikhail's laying in bed he's tired he's been going for like the past week bless he, he's tired his feet swollen he's hurting so he's done a lot in the past week Thankfully, he was here to help me to get it all done. Um, this is also one of those pictures that we picked up while we are in Hobby Lobby. Um, we picked it up to go in Austin's room, but clearly y'all seen his theme. A bear will not go well in there. So, Mikhail just hung that up in here. Derry Ellen's going to be hung up pictures. I just put my dress over here. Um, so, I'm not sure if it's going to stay there. Same with my... Um, what is that called? A jury box? This is the master. It is huge. Like, I have plenty of room. 
we put like two matching chairs here at the foot of our bed and a table in between them. It's huge and maybe even a bench to go underneath here. Plenty of room in this bedroom. It's huge, like it's super long. It's, it's a lot bigger than our other bedroom at our old house. Need to put laundry away. Y'all know how it is when you move, but anyway. Kill surprised me with this new bedding. Absolutely love it. He also, um, what else am I waiting on? A cow plant rug to go with it. So I'm waiting on that. But this is the master bathroom. And here, once again, y'all, it's got to be clean. I have like all these towels in here. Because the girls, we went ahead and bought um, one of these for the master bathroom as well as the girls' bathroom. One of these um, over toilet storage things. We just haven't, haven't had time to put it together. Hopefully I can get to it this week along with everything else. But this bathroom, like everything else, needs to be cleaned. Let me get it done. Um, but yeah, this is the master bathroom. It is huge once again. This camera does not do this house justice. So you walk straight and I just put my vanity here. I wanna redo it because it's looking rough. And I actually found this at a thrift store too. It opens for storage. So I've been sitting there doing my makeup. And then we got oh, the kids keep coming in here stealing my stuff um the shower curtain is so pretty just the whole thing i want to go with i love the shower curtain so so much and it's got these pretty 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 tassels on the ends of it but that is our bathroom Ooh, the tub and it's like a garden I don't know if it's a garden tub, it's like a soak, a soaker tub, I think it's called. I have been trying to get those two black marks off. It was in there whenever we got in the house. I don't know. Um I probably need to trust purple power or something to break it. But whew, y'all. That Dr. Till's Epsom salt and this these two combinations here, oh god, feels so good, especially with my feet hurting from all this moving. I need to take that rag out of there. Austin's clearly been in here and messed with this. Um, but yeah, this is our bathroom. Like I said, I sit there and do my makeup. Once again, I, I'm scared to hang stuff up. I do want to get a mirror and put here maybe. I'm just not sure if the vanity is going to stay in the bathroom or if I'm going to put it in our bedroom somewhere. I'm not sure. I don't know. But then huge master closet what closet need to be put up this closet is huge so so okay. huge like it to our bedroom all the way to the so we have plenty of storage space in this closet for everything most of my clothes are in the dresser the dresser in the be bedroom is mine, so that's why I don't have much clothes hanging up in here. These are actually, are these my pants? No. Here, these are Addie's. I don't know why I hung those up in my closet. But yeah, that is that. I need to get like a rug or something to put down in here. Now I'm leaving. Going back into the master. Oh, I got a thing. I'm thinking about putting that dresser on this wall, putting the vanity over there. I'm not sure though. So I got a fireplace to put over there. Well, I'm probably gonna put the fireplace here. That way Christmas, I can put my Christmas tree over there in that corner. But yeah, that is a tour of our new house. That's the tour of our new house. I'm planning on doing lots and lots of cleaning this week. Yeah, baby. Get in your high chair. 
Go get in your hat chair. There you go. Like I said, there's gonna be lots and lots of cleaning, getting done, as well as unpacking. I still got like one more trip worth of stuff left at our new house that I need to go and get. Um, didn't know that we were going to get our keys the day that we got our keys for this house. We literally thought we were coming here, putting the dogs in the dog kennels here and watering them, and then just get the keys in a few days afterwards. Um, but we got here and realized the water, the water wasn't working. Um, I drove out to the road, 10 a meter, turned it on, still no water. So we had a contact with our project manager who's over the house, um, sitting the house up and everything. And we told her there wasn't any water. I told y'all they had broke, they had busted the water line when they would turn on lights. We thought it was something to do with that. And she was like, no, there should be water there. There was water there yesterday after they fixed the line. So she drove. She was like, you know what? I'm just going to come come there and see what's going on. Um, while she was on the way, the kid's like, I bet you the water's turned off in the house at the main cutoff in the house. And sure enough, that's what it was. She got here. And while she was on the way, it was my mama, Mikhail, my brother, his wife, and some, like, two other people were all sitting out there, which they had come over and helped Mikhail finish dog kennels. And we were like, boy, it'd be nice if you give us those keys today. Because she told us that the latest we would get our keys would be Tuesday, which was the day after the girls started school. They started school Monday, which was the 28th. So they've been in school for a whole week now. Today makes a week. Um, yeah, she was like, well, the latest I'm going to give you all keys will be next Tuesday. This was a week prior to that. So I was like, dang, it'd be nice. She, you know, we got to get kids in school. I really don't want to be driving back and forth to our old house or our new school. Um, so we were just like, well, it'd be nice. She'd just give us those keys while she's coming out here to turn the water on. She pulls up and we're all sitting around back and she comes in and switches the water on in the laundry room, which was, that's what it was. It was shut off back there. She turned it on like, yeah, the water's working. She goes, well, if y'all want to come in and look at the house, you can. That boy, I was so, so excited. I was like, mm, get my keys today. No, nope. she goes, well, I was, um, I, I was ready to give you y'all's keys today, but I come in here and realize that the guys left a bunch of um, sheet rocking in the living room and um, the shingles for the house is in there, you know, just extra shingles. They were in there. And then the um, panel box, the panel box, the panel cover for the breaker box was off. It hadn't been put on. Just the cool, the cover, the door part hadn't been put on. And she was like, I really want to give you all y'all's keys, but I can't because this is doing, my heart dropped. I was like, man, whatever. Let's just go look at this house because this was our first time walking through it. I told y'all that I didn't have this house on the lot when we decided to get it. I literally seen this house. They ran the numbers for a few other houses that we loved. They were all four bedroom, two bath houses. They ran the numbers and it was just not where we wanted to be. I went online to Clayton Homes and I found this house, five bedroom, three bath. I was like, hey, have a run the numbers for that house. It's not as fancy as the other ones, but we got an extra bathroom and another bedroom, which is what we want. It's what we needed. And um, ran the numbers for it, and I was like, okay, we that's that's more of what I want to be. So they didn't have this house on the lot. I literally just watched YouTube videos of this house, and I was like, oh, I can't wait. So the other day when she came out, it was our first time walking through the house, and we were just amazed at how big this house was. Videos do not do this house justice of how massive it is. It's a little over 200 square feet, which our last single wide was like, I think a thousand square feet. So this house is huge. Um, anyway, we come in, we're looking around the bathroom and we come out of our master bedroom and my brother and the project manager standing there. And he was like, did you hear that, Jen? I was like, no. Well, he goes, she says she doesn't have a problem with giving y'all y'all's keys. She just don't want the stuff to be in your way. I was like, what? I said, that stuff ain't in my way. I ain't even picked out the six where I want yet. That stuff is fine. Just, I want to get in here. He was basically telling her like, hey, you know, they got to get up super early, get the kids to school. The kids start school Monday. 
you know, and thank God he was here because we got our keys. Um, she was worried about the, um, the panel cover being put on and my brother, my brother was like, Hey, me and my brother-in-law, which is Mikhail, they're both electricians. He was like, I can slap that on there, no problem. When it got the grill, the grill, <laughs> I'm looking at the grill out the office window from where we cooked out yesterday. But he went and got the drill and she just watched him. He drilled it on there and she's like, all right, here's your keys. We signed what we needed to sign and she went on her way, which, oh my God, it happened so fast. Like, I was ready to go home that night to our old house and finish packing because I wouldn't finish packing. And um, I just figured we'd wake up, come down here, take care of the dogs, leave them here, and come back the next day and get our keys in a few more days. But mm -mm, I did not know that the last night I slept in our old house would be the last night of us sleeping in that house, which is crazy. Um, She gave us our keys, and we basically... Had to get together that night. Um, people we went camping with come over. Um, we ordered pizza and we literally stood around the island with no furniture in the house, which there really still ain't furniture in here now besides a kitchen table and whatever. But there was literally nothing in the house. I didn't even have blinds open. <laughs> we just sitting there standing around the kitchen island laughing, eating pizza. We ordered pizza that night. And it it was fun. It was fun. We stayed in this house, I think, for two nights before I got blinds. Um, I wanted the wooden blinds, but my Lowe's didn't have them. So, I just went with the basic plastic blinds, I think. Which, I, this is just a quick fix until I can get my wooden blinds put in here. Um, but, yeah. So, the next thing is to get our sectional, which I say will be delivered Thursday. I cannot wait because I've literally just been sitting on the kitchen table chairs and my back and feet. I can, I feel it. So I'm excited to get that Thursday. Um, which Mikhail surprised me with that. I went looking for furniture way before we got our keys and I sent him pictures of the one that I liked. He liked it too. It's a huge sectional and like the, the ends of the sectional has these like extra wide recliners and like i said it's got the cup holders got the usb charging port and all that and i was like look i really like this one i think i'm gonna get it and then i was like nah i think i'm away because i didn't know how big the living room was going to be so he went up there i think it was the day the hurricane was supposed to hit or the day before the hurricane was supposed to hit that we just got hit by last week went up there went ahead and ordered it and it will be delivered thursday he also went ahead and um ordered me some cow print bar stools i've been on him for the longest about wanting some cow print bar stools so those will be here i think thursday along with the girls mattresses and my cow hide rug um, that bin, that tote that I showed y'all that's in the kitchen is full of decor, fall decor, um, runner rugs, lamps, just stuff that I've been picking up that I'm itching to put out, but I'm like, no, I gotta give them this home tour video before I can decorate. Y'all seen the entryway table, I've done it and threw some little, a little bit of fall on there with that little garland thing. But yeah, I'm like, I gotta wait, let me do this. This walkthrough for him, give him a home tour, which it is not by any means a clean house tour. Mm -mm. I'll, I'll get that up once the furniture's here and it's clean. I'll get y'all out that video. But um, yeah, that is our house. I'm so, so thankful. God, I'm so glad. Like I've literally woken up every morning just amazed at how big it is. Thank you, Lord. That's the first thing I said. Like, it was it was a struggle. I didn't think I didn't think we'd ever get them keys and get in here, but Lord, when well, we did, oh, so we've literally been here for a week. Um, yeah, Saturday was a week. Today is Monday. Y'all yeah, will see this tomorrow. Today is Labor Day, I think. Which is why the house is a mess. Kids are home. Um, they went swimming. Now they're back home. Um. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little home tour video. 
Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know down below. I know I've had a few of y'all ask what house this is. It is the Triumph by Clayton Holmes. Um, the manufacturer is True Built, T R U Built, I think. Yeah, that's the manufacturer, True Built, but it's by Clayton Holmes. We got ours from the Oakwood Home Center. Um, we ordered it through them, which they're like sisters to Clayton Holmes. So, um, we ordered through them. They did give us a list, just like a paper, to write down anything that we found wrong with our house. And honestly, I, I haven't found anything wrong with it so far. Nothing at all. Um, other than like receptacle being crooked, but that's something Mikhail can fix. It's not, not that serious. Um, that's honestly it. Yeah. Just receptacle not being straight. Um, but we love it. <laughs> we love it. The girls love it. You can tell they're actually taking pride in their room. Versus before having all four girls in one room, it was pure. <laughs> To keep that room clean oh my god but now they're in a bigger room they're all in their rooms and i feel like they're taking pride in it and wanting to keep it clean and i don't know that's how i feel but they're 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 doing good with keeping their rooms clean and helping out um i made them scrub <laughs> they did scrub the bathtubs this morning my kids clean i know someone said that they should be helping out more they do they really do um, they scrubbed the tubs this morning. I made them clean their mirrors, wipe down the sinks, just to go ahead and clean up before it gets overwhelming on me to have to do it all. So they've been doing good, keeping the house tidy and cleaning up, um, put the clothes away. I don't want them to have dressers. So we've been hanging up all their clothes um, other than like their shorts and stuff like that. I do need to get them, maybe one of them little plastic little bins that go in their closet for their shorts and stuff. Um, in the old house, when I, they did have drawers, they would just tuck their clothes in there and I'm not dealing with that in this house. I told them we are not doing that in this new house. We're going to be organized and tidy like we're not ship over here. Um, but yeah, I did pick up curtains, which the girls have curtains. The office doesn't have curtains, which I probably won't put any curtains in the office because the lighting is really good now which it is afternoon. The sun's like behind the trees right now. The lighting in here is pretty good. I am gonna get curtains. Well, I already got them. I just gotta put them up. I just bought them when, it, when I was out buying Austin's TV. Got curtains for the living room as well as that kitchen window. The kitchen window over the sink, I don't think I'm gonna put anything there. Um, the only reason why I had curtains and blinds up to the window in our old house is because that kitchen window faced out the dirt road, like, and I I was so scared of being there washing dishes and not there to be a creep. Whereas here, we got the night light and I can see out the kitchen window while I'm doing dishes and I see the hunt dogs right there in front of me. So, um, probably won't put nothing up to that window. Um, our bedroom, I do need to get curtains for our bedroom. I'm just trying to figure out. Um, I don't know what color curtains I want to get with our bedspread and as well as the um, cow print rug that's coming in. So, I don't know. I guess I'll see how it all looks and go off of that for curtains for our bedroom. But yeah, y'all, that is where we're at. We're finally in our new house. Ah, whoo, I know. Y'all have been waiting and waiting and waiting and we finally... We made it, y'all. We got it here. We made it. It was stressful, very stressful, but we're here now. Um, but yeah, y'all, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell notification so y'all can watch all this cleaning that's going to be going on in this house and within the next few days, as well as the fall decorating. God, I cannot wait to decorate my house. Oh my God. Cannot wait to share that with y'all. But yeah, that's going to be it for this evening's video. Like I said, if y'all have any comments, any comments, if y'all have any questions, drop them down below and I will be sure to get back to you. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Thanks for watching tonight's video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.